The hobby is clearly dead, my friends. No, I'm not going through puberty. I have lost my voice from the Metallica concert the other night. How do you stay grounded? How do you do it? Well, I've, I've got a... <laughs> with my brother. Amazing time, but I am feeling it. It's happening! It's happening! Um, I actually feel fine. It's just I can't speak. But does it stop us? No. No, of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. We're going to try to eke through this thing. I was just looking at the Heritage Auction tally at $62 million from the 2024 Summer Platinum Night Auction. And I was just thinking, man, the hobby surely is dead, isn't it? Clearly. 100%. 2,500 bidders worldwide. And if you look here, Chris Ivey, director of sports this weekend was the most thrilling three days in my career and the 20 year history of heritage sports before i go on we got to thank com c our friends at com c 35 million plus cards in the database you can grade cards through them you can run cards at auction com c is where you want to be and we've got our tuesday shout outs we'll wrap in here justcollect.com you've got a collection you're trying to figure out where the heck do i sell this thing Layton Sheldon, do we have Frank? Do we have a clip of Layton? Collection for us here at Just Collect. I'm going to show you some of the highlights right now. It's a prototypical 60s collection, but it's larger than normal. I mean, 3,000 cards, a nice amount. Hardcapsule.com. You're looking for supplies. You don't want to pay a fortune for them, and you deserve 10% off. Sports card dad code at Card Capsule. We'll take care of that for you. And Wooten Sports Cards. Wooten Sports Cards on whatnot unbelievable singles the singles magician go and check out wooten sports cards on whatnot today and so here we are with three years removed from the peak of prices three years removed from 2021 and we still have <laughs> a heritage auction setting all-time records at 62 million dollars for one auction house granted a, a large auction house in the space but think about all the other auction houses, eBay, card shows, card shop transactions. I mean, it's absolutely staggering what's going on here. We just had the gem rate data release for grading. PSA did 1.3, 1.4 million cards, and all the companies are up year over year except for Beckett, who's down about 10%, but still graded, I think Beckett still graded 20 or 30% more cards than they did last month. Card shows remain packed, and I think that it does speak to now we have pricing outside of new product. New product pricing is not inexpensive, but a singles market to where everybody can really kind of get in on their favorite player, whether you're speculating or collecting on a, on a specific player. There's options for you at basically every single price point. It's, it's really kind of the perfect storm of everything coming together the one big thing on the horizon i know people are thinking talking about is just the economy as a whole global economy frankly you know and can it kind of keep this headwind that that we've seen even with a lot of job loss speaking in the united states you're still seeing consumer confidence on spending spending hasn't really slowed down from from what the numbers are are showing and so hey look if spending doesn't slow down then you know prices remain inflated and will continue to to rise for for certain segments so and for certain cards so a question for viewership if we do start to see a pullback if we do start to see a pullback in the hobby where does it start you know is it going to be in grading is it going to be card shows is it going to be card shops you know what is going to slow down this machine that just continues to roll on really since I would say it really started in 2016. And then of course, heading up into 17, 18 guys like me hitting midlife crisis. <laughs> and then that takes us into the pandemic. You've also just seen a lot of young people get in a lot of dads and sons, a lot of dads getting their sons into this and daughters. And now you all of a sudden you've got kind of a next gen of, of collectors slash flippers slash speculators that are operating at shows and buying and selling and doing all the stuff. So where do you think this could slow down? What could change? Do you think it's realistic to think that we can stay at this pace 
you know, because like I said, I don't really see a segment, even with new product being as expensive as it is, even with brake spots not being inexpensive, even with, you know, the razes and the, you know, the repacks and people getting burned on these things, they still are figuring out either other places to, to spend in the hobby or they're just going back for more repacks. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a wild, it's a wild scene. So do you think this continues on? Can it continue at this pace? Is there growth potential? Simon 466 Cards uh, channel did a great video on this going back a day or two, basically trying to figure out, or do we have more participant, more participants in the hobby and more money being spent? Is there room for growth? Just kind of a good overall video. So definitely check out Simon 466 Cards on YouTube. Uh, that was one that just came out a day or two ago, but it's got some great commentary, comes up with some good topics on the hobby all right my friends i'm gonna try to fix my voice for tomorrow no i'm not just trying to be cool and act like christian bale's batman i swear to god swear to me i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day stay healthy stay awesome i'll talk to you again later